dear alumni and of course our startling students. How lovely is Anshu Shah sir, Managing Director, Vishal Pharmaceutical Laboratories. Dr. Nilish Mar Dr. Nilish Malviya sir, Principal of Smriti College of Pharmaceutical Education, Indore. On behalf of entire Scope family, we would like to welcome you all. Saraswati Mahabhagi Vidya Kamle Lochne, Vidya Rupe Vishwa Kalakshi, Vidyam Dehi Namastute, Vidyam Dehi Namastute. As a tribute to Goddess of Knowledge, Ma Saraswati, I would like to invite all the dignitaries for the lamp lightning ceremony. Thank you, sir. I would also request our principal, Dr. Nilesh Malviya, sir, to please welcome our chief guest from academics, Sri R. K. Singh, sir, principal, G. D. Goenka Public School, Indore, with the bunch of flowers. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to call upon our respected principal, sir, Dr. Nilesh Malviya, sir, to present the preamble of college achievement, the college report of last academic year. very good evening and a warm welcome to each of you present over here. Uh, today's chief guest, special guest, eminent guest, alumni, my dear colleagues, parents and lovable students. Dear all, uh, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you in SCOPE premises and I am honored that SCOPE is hosting its 24th annual day UAM 2K23 to celebrate the diversity and successful journey of our student and staff members. We feel proud to celebrate our journey of success in keeping with the institution aim of pursuing excellence. We are proud to have an eminent personality with us, respected Mr. Himanshu Sahasar, Managing Director, Vishal Pharmaceutical, a legendary leader of pharmacy profession Sir hardly need any introduction. Sir has made all of us proud with your distinguished work in pharmaceutical sector, both industry as well as in education. I will not miss this opportunity to thank him for his mentorship. In fact, he is willing to present to hold my hand in every situation. Thank you very much, sir. I am thankful to Mr. R. K. Singh, Principal G. D. Goenga School, Indore, for his valuable presence. He is a mentor with exemplary quality, vision, and dynamicity. Mr. Singh is well known name in matters related to quality education and innovative practices implementation in his school. I am rea really thankful to Sir for his gr gracious presence. It's my honor and profound happiness that our Honorable Chairman Shri Narin Nahatasar and Executive Chairman Shri Rahul Nahatasar convey their blessings for the grand success of UAM 2K23 celebration. Now it's time to recall team scope achievement and activities conducted in the last academic year. While taking to you, I remember the past 12 months at a scope and realized that a great deal has emerged. The education theme for the year 2021-22 was redefine the level of knowledge to foster excellence in education. We aimed at encouraging our student to be higher achiever in all around development. The students were encouraged to have positive thinking and develop their critical thinking skill. Though the intensive efforts of our staff, parents and alumni in the past year, we have put this theme into practice. Just to mention a few of our achievements and activities, if I highlight academics, achievements and accomplishments, last year, university res results revealed that a total of 188 students, including UG and PG, maintained CGPA above 8, 
with 89% resulting in university examination. In the last academic year, our four students qualified in the GPAT entrance test. Among them, Pawan Sharma scored 99.68 percentile, and five students proved themselves in GRE TOEFL and IELTS with a light score. Our student Premchand Gupta secured 11th rank in MPPSC and was selected for the post of Assistant Manager in Ministry of Health. If we talk about research. We have successfully completed a project sponsored by DST, NST, MIS, and MPCST. Team Scope has been selected for the final round of national level of Hackathon 2.0 Kritagya, organized by Indian Council of Agriculture. Team Score secured 3.5 star ranking in IIC. We have successfully participated and presented our research work in 72nd IPC held at Nagpur. Scope in association with FOC has organized Academia Industry Summit and signed 26 MOU with reputative organization with the aim to strengthen academy industry collaboration. In the last academic year, we have published 27 research and review articles in reputative journal as well as six textbooks and five chapters. We have successfully published four patents and 11 design patents granted. Our faculty members and students presented 82 papers at international and national level conferences. Out of them, 29 papers were awarded as best. Now in extracurricular activity, on the auspicious occasion of World Pharmacist Day, Team Scope has performed the Nukkar Natak at Chappan with the objective to raise health awareness and improve knowledge of our local community. Team Scope celebrated Women's Day with female alumni on the occasion of National Pharmacy Education Day, Team Scope in association with Medicare Hospital Indore successfully organized health awareness and blood donation camp and donated 50, 50 units of blood. Team Scope celebrated National Pharmacy Week and organized the 5 kilometer marathon uh, to, aware, to uh, promote the awareness of health. An inspiring event was organized on the occasion of Man's Day with the Army personnel. We have successfully celebrated National Science Day, World Health Day, World Intellectual Day, National Technology Day, World Environment Day, Entrepreneurship Day, National Innovation Day, and National Education Day. For training and placement, we also organize under the IIC cell more than 32 industrial expert talk, seven alumni interaction program, nine industrial visit, one industrial tour, seven technical in-house workshop, and many cultural events. In the last two academic years, students were placed in reputed pharma organizations. We always feel proud to support and contribute to our alumni. They are always with us and act as catalysts to enhance our, enhance our professional connections. I feel proud to inform you all, the first time in MP and in first time in Central India, I have been awarded the prestigious Professor B.M. Mithal Memorial Award in the 25th annual convention of Association of Pharmaceutical Teacher of India uh, hosted by GSS College of Pharmacy Mysuru. As you are aware that SCOPE has been continuously responding and listening to the industry that hire the talent developed by SCOPE. We strongly believe in our core philosophy of fully fulfilling your dreams. We believe it will ensure that Scope is clearly recognized as a leading institute for quality pharmacy education, not only in Madhya Pradesh, but also in Central India or entire country. Attract the best and brightest student, attract the outstanding faculty, and exploring pharma research and innovation. We are building a scope future on a history characterized by vision, passion, and courage, but more importantly, on the hope that we can make a difference. On behalf of SCOPE, I would like to extend my appreciation and thanks for the amazing work done by Team SCOPE. Your constant support and efficiently, efficiency have helped SCOPE to attain fame and recognition. Without your belongingness towards the profession and towards the institute, this success would not have been possible. I am certain that our team will continue to reach new heights of professional excellence and achievements due to all the hard work each of you put in every single day. Now for the, for the year ahead, I have prescribed our theme as redefine strength to excel in innovation. 
so i assure you all team scope foster our strength by incorporating excellence in researchership authorship leadership and mentorship with the aim to groom our student as per the need of society dear student your attitude your values and your vision form the blueprint of your success anything is possible to achieve by psyching oneself with positive thinking please join us as we embark on this great new era in the history of hisco foundation hope you will like the arrangements really i am delighted to see you people wish you a wonderful evening and memorable event i hope we will together make a difference leave a mark and stand apart keep the spark thank you thank you thank you thank you all of you so how the, uh, the future seems to be quite bright as a uh, uh, teacher i started a been into something in which you all are i've seen life more closer than you all why because my family my dad comes from the indian army i've seen indian army throughout my childhood and i've seen that how we don't mix fun and the glory glory comes first fun comes later uh mr malvia and the dignified guest the students i'm here i don't know i initially thought by mistake you know uh, an educator like me who is connected with the schools <laughs> was called but then the purpose is bigger you know schools are the progression into the future the colleges universities and all future courses we prepare the students we give them the character the ethos the values which the principal was talking about and those values become the culture of life and those values actually create a huge difference in the society when i talk to my students who pass out every year from grade 12 i always tell them that suppose we are you know having 100 students they pass out they touch more than 100 lives they go in different directions they carry the values the you know kind of exposure we give them to different directions life is very simple life is very simple unfortunately we make it little complex we don't want to follow something which comes from here from within we we want to suppress it time is changing we always say the world is in turmoil we have seen the devastation of corona virus we have seen the devastation of schools during those two years we have seen that how it feels when you find yourself blocked choked and find yourself in a lockdown number of thoughts you know came to surface during the lockdown we realized the importance of freedom we realized that freedom comes for free but then we realized the value of freedom only when we are under control and that control was so deeper that the whole world started churning into something which is called you know the churning of ideas churning of emotions churning of you know different types of feeling and finally when we came out of it we emerged victorious we could defeat something which was so devastating life is to be long we always look forward to have longer life bigger achievement but i think life is to be big if it is long and nothing comes out of it it becomes a simple you know joke i would like to tell you that my connect with the youth is very strong i relate with them at the age of 55 i connect with the youngest 
of the young in the same spirit. I am a national coach in football. I still play football with my boys and girls. I connect with them and I draw their energy. And then I repeat and give them back the same energy which they have given me by hundred folds. The generation in which I am and the generation in which you all are. People say that there is a huge difference. But you might have seen how Ratan Tata draws energy from his younger team. I always believe in one philosophy which is very, very simple. Catching talent in the younger form is the best way for a country to take the whole generation to the future. Come out of this industrial mindset. Industrial mindset is, I'll do a course, I'll complete certain course, get a degree, certification, and then find a job and lead my life peacefully. That's not the only aim of this life. How you touch more lives, how you take the education which you have taken to different parts of the world and become global, how you draw energy from this huge universe, how you connect with this universe. My journey is long. 30 years I've been teaching and learning. Started from the same state, the place called Gwalior. When I joined the Sindhya School Gwalior, which is a premier institution. Why I am telling you about my journey quickly because there are a lot of twists and turns and one thing which is very common and which has remained common in my life is being a risk taker i always taken the risk i followed my dream i followed the drive which i had inside me after being selected for the indian army and before joining the indian military academy two months before i have taken a decision to become a teacher you can understand, an army officer, a class one gazetted officer, people have a lot of respect for that position. I left that and I became something which is not taken so, you know, enthusiastically by our society. Teachers become, after you are defeated in all other fields, you become a teacher. That's something which is a mistake. I've taken that call, joined this India, touched life. When time came, I moved out of the comfort zone. You know, my dear, comfort zone is a very, very comfortable place. You're very, very relaxed there in the comfort zone. Nothing happens there. But nothing grows there. Till the time you're in the comfort zone, nothing grows there. You move out of the comfort zone. To explore the world. That's the way when I moved out of India, I went abroad, came in touch with the international ways and means of teaching and learning. Where I have learned something which India now trying to learn. How to connect with the youth, how to connect with their emotions, how to respect that. We always say in our Indian cultural you know, value system, we say that only Elders should get the respect. But how many of us respect the younger one, the tiny little one who is craving for respect? Who is also an individual? You know, such gatherings, such programs are wonderful till the time we keep them under control and our feelings are, feelings remain decent. The moment we go beyond, we create such a scene which becomes, you know, pathetic. Why? Because, you know, you should not be light, should not be lower in your character. Take it to the highest level. Take it to somewhere where you feel proud, where you set certain examples which would take this college. It's a wonderful college, wonderful feelings. I had when I entered, looking at you all, looking at the future, take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. I have seen 
when I was in Finland, I've seen the classrooms which are wallless. There were no walls, open classroom. Like this open air auditorium. Here everything is open, op uh, the free flow of air, the free flow of ideas. A lot of noise, but still you can hear each other. That's the connect. So world is moving out of the comfort zone. We are exploring something which has been a dream, which we are still in the conventional world. We still try a very, very regimented way of discipline in our institutions. But my point is, discipline should be in it. It should be within. And it should remain in us till the time we die. And it is not to show off, but it is to feel. It is not to be just shown as a pretense, but it should remain the drive of our life. Indian culture, I would just add few lines on Indian culture. When I was abroad, I served in eight or nine different countries, starting from Indonesia to Singapore to Australia, Finland, England, Dubai, all these places. My point is, everywhere I met the nationalities of different cultures, the respect which I got as an Indian over there was amazing. Most of them know our rich scriptures and they always attach that feeling with an Indian. They say India, amazing, amazing value system. So my point is when the whole world is appreciating us, connecting with us, why can't we carry our culture to other cultures? And the youth can only, can only do that. I would not stretch it further. My message to you all is to believe in three words, which are very important for you all. In fact, for every individual, word number one is empathy. Empathy is the feeling to feel others, the feeling to feel the feelings of others. How you connect with people, how you understand that. Be empathetic. Number two is compassion. Compassion is something which is more than your passion. Some passion has brought you here in this college to do something in life. Maybe to find a job or to make a difference, innovate something. So compassion will drive you in your life. And the third and the most important word is patience. If you are patient, you can win the world. If you are impatient, nothing would happen. With these three words, I conclude. Congratulations to each one of you, to the principal and everyone. Rise and shine. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you, sir. I would request the most honorable personality of tonight, a chief guest from industry, Shri Himanshu Sahasar, Managing Director, Vishal Pharmaceutical Laboratories, Indore, to step up on the floor and take in hand the audience. Very good evening to all. I am not to be able to do I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. I am going to be able to do this. And I am going to be able to do this. And I am going to be able to do this. And enjoy it. अभी आरके सिंह साहब ने दो तीन चीजें जो बोली हैं उस पे मेरे आप ध्यान देंगे एक तो रिस्क फैक्टर पेशेंस ये जो क्वालिटीज उन्होंने बताई है जिससे आदमी कहां के कहां पहुंच सकता है मैं समझता हूं कि उन्होंने सारी बातें आपको बहुत नक्शेल में बहुत अच्छे से समझाई है और आप सभी को मेरी तरफ से बधाइयां क्योंकि यही एक फंक्शन होता है कॉलेज का कि आज शायद मेरे ख्याल से तीन साल बाद हो रहा है ये युवाओं का फंक्शन चार साल चार साल बाद हो रहा है तो नेचुरली कि आप लोग कितने उत्साहित और उत्तेजित होंगे इस फंक्शन के लिए 
मेरी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं आप लोगों को और बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद अंत में मैं कई बार आया हूं यहाँ पर कई बार आप लोगों से चर्चाएं भी हुई है पर मैं आपसे एक ये चूंकि कि कुछ फोर्थ ईयर के स्टूडेंट्स शायद अगले साल कॉलेज छोड़ देंगे कहीं प्लेसमेंट हो जाएगा आप लोग आपस में मिलेंगे यहाँ से जो आप दोस्त लेके जा रहे हैं दोस्ती बना के जा रहे हैं वो आप जीवन भर याद रखेंगे कॉलेज को याद रखेंगे मेरी आप लोगों से इच्छा है मतलब गुजारिश है पंख भी है उड़ान भी है हौसले में जान भी है पंख भी है उड़ान भी है हौसले में जान भी है इन भड़क फड़कती हुई भुजाओं में आसमां छूने का अरमान भी है तो यहाँ से जो भी स्टूडेंट अब फोर्थ ईयर के पास आउट होके जाएंगे जरूर आसमान को छुए और अपने पीछे बेच वालों को सपोर्ट करते रहे थैंक यू थैंक यू इन इस एथ सेमेस्टर आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द टीम मेंबर्स टू कम टू द स्टेज The runner up for the uh, cricket team is 6th semester. I request all of the winning team members to please come on to the stage.